Okay, my name is Julian Penderhume and I'm actually an avian paleontologist and in literal terms that means fossil bird person. I work on fossil bird bones but I'm also a professional artist. Unfortunately for Mauritius, as humans arrived they brought them lots of carry-on animals. They had dogs, cats, rats inadvertently escaped and these had a very detrimental effect on the original fauna. In fact were probably the main reason why so many things became extinct. Of all the dodo bones you'll see in the world, 99.9% .9 of them came from one fossil locality, an area called the Mara Sange in Mauritius. And I've been very fortunate to be able to work on that site and excavate bones from it. And it's an amazing site. It's 4,000 years old and it contains so many specimens. In fact, thousands and thousands of insects, bird remains, mammal remains, and the whole ecology of Mauritius long before humans arrived. And now we can start putting all those pieces of the puzzle together and rebuilding that original ecosystem, which was the world of the dodo. What were analogous species to species that are gone? And for example, two species of giant tortoise are now extinct. So let's bring back one giant tortoise, and this has been achieved with the Aldabra giant tortoise, and put it in an area and see what it does. Mauritius was actually covered in giant tortoises more than anywhere else in the world, and they were vital for the healthiness of the forest because they ate the fruits and they spread the seeds. And in fact, just a few years into the project, it's been spectacular because the introduced tortoise has replaced the extinct ones and plant regermination has taken place. We have large lizards brought back, we have certain birds brought back, but unfortunately, one bird we cannot bring back is a dodo because there is nothing like it on Earth. So we can put back almost everything else we cannot ever put back the dodo.